I call his magic fingers. Place your hands flat down on a surface and number them 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. This is what the inside of your left hand should look like and the inside of your right hand should look the same. Remember that your pinky is 10 and your thumb is number 6. So we'll do something easy first like 6 times 8. So what we want to do is we want to visualize the 6 and the 8. I highlighted them here for you to make it really, really simple. Now, touch your thumb on your left hand with the middle finger on your right hand. Now you have two groups. So in your first group that I circled for you, you see that you have four fingers. On the left side, you have four fingers outside the circle. On the right side, you have two fingers outside the circle. Make it really, really simple. You have four fingers in your first group, making your first number a four. And the second group, you have four fingers outside the circle on your left hand, and two fingers outside the circle on your right hand. Do four times two, you get eight. Your answer is 48. It is that simple. I'll do another one with you, and I'm going to go really slow this time. I want you to remember that this only works with 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 time tables. You have to know your 1s, your 2s, your 3s, your 4s, and your 5s. So again, we'll try something like 7 times 7. So, we have 7 times 7, and we want to look at our left and our right fingers, and we see that it's our pointer fingers. So 7 and 7 is our pointer fingers. So let's draw a circle around that. Let's count how many fingers are inside that circle. I count four. So our first number is going to be a four. So let's just bring that four right down. And we have our first number. Now to get our second number, we see that we have three on the left and we have three on the right. We simply do four times three. We get nine. We have our second number. Bring the nine down. Seven times seven is equal to forty-nine. It is that simple.